This is what I saw when I logged in from a little excursion that I had. Make sure you read this voice quality box. I'll explain in just a minute. You got potted. That's why you're in station. You get into your medical clothes. Are you already paying attention to your tune? Remember this, because th that's kind of important. Oh. Mm hmm. Dun 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 dun. Now, that's the voice of a guy that was in the fleet with me, and then there was Nightblade, who was uh, the fleet commander. And um, one second, and I'll explain more. Yeah. I well, what they may have done is that you don't you don't immediately leave. Uh, your ship goes to some safe area. And they can still probe you down, I think. I'm not sure. You won't actually I'm off for several seconds if you, if you log off. Welcome back. So that's what I experienced when I logged in. So let me explain what happened. Um, the people, the guy, Nightblade, found a wormhole. And Cobb, the voice that you just heard, sent me a message on Facebook. It's like, we found a wormhole and it's packed, and blah, 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 blah. And I, I had an agenda of something that I wanted to do. <laughs> I was going to log in Eve, but I wanted to do some recording and I wanted to farm for a plex and, you know, I had stuff that I wanted to do, but they were rather excited about this wormhole because I logged in and so I said, okay, fine, I'll go. And I said, but I'm going to have to, you know, log off and come back, you know, uh, because I, I had a thing. So what ended up happening was, is that the, the, entrance to the wormhole closed now if you follow me on facebook and twitter i've talked often about being able to spot the signs when something's probably not a bad idea yes it's easy to tell hindsight you know hindsight is 2020 but um if you particularly if you have kids if you can spot those warning signals ahead of time oh my god it'll save you so much trouble and this is one of those where it's like a hurdle after a hurdle after a hurdle just kept going up. So you'll see what I mean. So the entrance to the wormhole closed. They were closed in. I was out. So I was like, okay, fine, you know, do whatever. And then they felt bad. You know, Nightblade felt bad. So he's like, well, I can scan another one down. It'll only take a, like, you know, five minutes. So I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. So 20 minutes later, he found a wormhole because he found, you know, some that led to different areas or whatnot. So he found another class two. But the entrance to it was in Keldari space, which he has a negative standing of, and he had, and it was um, 19 jumps away. Now that's like three or four hurdles that are like neon sign, leave this alone, and I didn't leave it alone. <laughs> so um, Nightblade was sort of freaked out because he can't fly around in Keldari space. Cobb is sitting in the wormhole waiting. So I had to go 19 jumps. Okay? So I go 19 jumps out there. Uh, Nightblade's like, okay, you better hurry up and warp to me. Because, you know, I have this negative standing. So we got in the wormhole. Met up with Cobb. You know, now remember, Cobb has been sitting there the whole time. So, you know, it was cool. It was cool. So... They were about 50 kilometers away from me. Um, I was watching them get close to the rats because um, I'm in a salvager. I'm, I'm, I have no guns or anything. I'm the salvager girl. So what usually happens, it's similar to a level four. They kill all the rats. I come in and salvage. They kill all the rats, you know, that kind of thing. So when I got saw them getting into position to kill the rats... I cloaked and I said, okay, I'll be right back. And I left my computer. I was gone two minutes. And I come back and all hell broke loose. 
these two, I guess, were, um, they were either cloaked or, I, I don't know, I, I can't talk about that because I wasn't there. I didn't, I didn't see that. All I know is when I came back to my computer, the doms were in a different spot and there were two ships where they were when I left and they didn't look the same. It's like, I, I, that didn't, you know, what happened? So I'm like, what happened? And they're completely freaking out. So the only thing that I hear is Nightblade barking, log out, log out. So I saw Cobb log out. And so I logged out because that's what the orders, because I was like, I'm back and complete chaos. Log out, log out. So I logged out, logged on to another tune, uh, an alt that I, I don't use, and um, on the same account. And so I'm like, what happened? So they explained that the, that the people had ECM, and I can't remember which one of those two got potted, but one got potted, and the other was able to, to, to get out, I think. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So while I'm finding out what happened, obviously I'm on, on an alt. So I don't know that I, I had gotten potted. And here's the, the combat log or the kill mail. So I'm thinking when I log in, I'm going to be cloaked. So that's why I got the piece that you saw at the beginning. I had it set to record and everything because I didn't even have everything set to record um, because... I figure this is going to be just like the last one, so I'll wait for them to do the first room, and then, you know, we'll go into the, you know, next, and I'll have a chance to get, you know, the fraps going and everything. So I logged on, you know, I, I got fraps going, logged on my tune, and I'm in a station. So I'm like, what the hell am I doing in a station? And that's where you heard that, <clears throat> that conversation of, well, you've been potted, because it didn't even hit me that I had been potted and it was so chaotic remember that point that I told you about cops saying you weren't paying attention to your tune in those few minutes I mean we're talking like of like a minute or two um from the time that we logged off and I logged into another tune he forgot that I had said that I'd be right back. That's how chaotic it was. So I decided to do this video, not only because these two asked, well, you're going to do a video about your latest episode, you know, your escapade. Sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're not going to get the, I mean, the thrill. I wasn't at my computer, so I didn't even see what happened. I came back and I'm in station. Didn't even see anything. Didn't get any footage of it. Um, but the reason why I made this video is because I, my learning lesson here is um, when you're in a fleet, just like that uh, Eve University article said, your fleet commander needs to be calm. And I'm not casting any blame. I don't give a fuck about losing, you know, the hurricane or anything like that. And right now I'm looking at loyalty points because it dawned on me, huh, you know, I've got some loyalty points with some people, you know, some corps. They've got implants, so I'm going to check and see, you know, which implants that I want. And now that I'm able to get a jump clone, I'm going to do this properly. Um because I lost my implants because see this is another thing shouldn't I should not have gone into a PCP situation until I had properly handled my business but anyway um I wanted to share with others with other newbies and people that haven't been in fleets your fleet commander needs to be calm and this is not only in Eve this is in any team situation the leader needs to be um calm under stressful situations and the reason why is because the the lead needs to be able to give clear instructions on what to do communication is the key when there's chaos so um you know i my mother taught me as a as a, a youngin uh if you want to be in business you can't be you know, emotional. You can't freak out. Because if you freak out, you're going to make 
you know, decisions that you most likely, you know, would not make. So <clears throat> that was my learning experience. I will not fleet. If I think that somebody is overly emotional, somebody's got to take a lead with that. I don't know what could have been done to prevent that situation because I can't guarantee that even if I didn't log out that I would have gotten out I don't know I wasn't around so and I know you can find loyalty points somewhere it's somewhere buried in the UI I'll, I'll find it I just saw it the other day too but um yeah that's what happened so here's your video guys sorry that um I wasn't able to show you any action or anything, but it was definitely a learning experience for me about fleet communications and for me staying focused on my goals. Because as you know, if you used to listen, look at my videos from the beginning, I, my Eve videos have dropped down to nothing because I'll get on chat and I'll ying, 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 and I'll start talking and don't record. So I want to get back into actually recording more. Um, and I have to learn how to balance that, not only in this game, but in life as well. So everything is a learning experience. And Eve is one of those life learning experiences for me. So there's your video. I will see you guys in the next one.